The new Samsung Galaxy S23 Fan Edition is about to arrive, and as confirmed by a new leak that anticipates the specifications, it will be very similar to the Galaxy S22 Plus. The project has already been confirmed by several sources and should hit the market within a few months. The specifications of the new Samsung Galaxy S23 FE are at the center of a new leak in these hours. To anticipate the data sheet of the smartphone from Samsung is the insider Yojish Brar. If you already watched my previous video, then you must know we already talk about this leak. In today's video, we are going to talk about the how S23 FE will be very similar to the Galaxy S22 Plus. The new Samsung Galaxy S23 FE should mark the return of the double chip strategy already used by Samsung in the past for the models of the Galaxy S series. Therefore, based on the marketing market, the smartphone will have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen SoC1 or the Exynos 2200. These are the same chips mounted by the two regional variants of the Galaxy S22, S22 Plus, and S22 Ultra launched in 2022. In Italy, we recall the Galaxy S22 sold were those with the Exynos chip. The same scenario could therefore also repeat itself with the new Galaxy S23 FE. The smartphone will arrive on the market with various combinations of RAM and storage, up to a maximum of 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. In Italy, there may be room for a basic version, 8 slash 128 gigs, and for one with more RAM or storage. Like the Galaxy S22 Plus, the new Galaxy S23 FE will include a 4,500 milliampere battery among the specifications. However, the reload speed will be reduced. The new Samsung smartphone will be able to take advantage of a charging power of 25 watt against the 45 watt of the Galaxy S22 Plus. It will be wireless charging, now a trademark of the Galaxy S series on smartphones. To complete the data sheet, according to the new leak, we will find a 6.4 inch dynamic AMOLED display with full HD plus resolution and 120 Hz refresh rate. The display, therefore, will be only slightly smaller than that of the Galaxy S22 Plus, which has a 6.6-inch panel, always full HD+, and with a 120Hz refresh rate. Also noteworthy is a triple rear camera with a 50-megapixel main sensor with OAS, an 8-megapixel ultra-wide-angle sensor, and a 12-megapixel telephoto sensor. At the moment, there are no further details on the photographic sector. The configuration is very similar to that of the Galaxy S22 Plus 50 megapixels plus 12 megapixels ultra-wide angle plus 10 megapixels 3S telephoto, but the sensors will probably be different. Samsung's new smartphone will have a waterproof and dustproof certification. It should be IP68-like on the Galaxy S22 Plus. On the software side, however, the new Samsung Galaxy S23 FE will arrive on the market with the Android 13 operating system, customized by One UI 5.10. A smartphone will receive four major updates, arriving up to Android 17 with five years of security patches. Software support will extend until 2028. For the moment, there are no confirmations regarding the price and availability of the new Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. The smartphone should arrive on the market between the end of summer and the beginning of autumn. A delay, as has already happened for other models of the FE series, could be just around the corner. The launch could therefore be postponed to the end of the current year. As for the price pending more details, it is possible to hypothesize a value between the prices of the Galaxy A54 A256 gigs, available in Italy at 569.90 euros, and the Galaxy S22 Plus A256 gigs, 699 euros. Finally, a curiosity that confirms many of the hypotheses on the similarity between the Galaxy S23 FE and Galaxy S22 Plus. The latter smartphone has disappeared from the official Samsung website, where at the moment it is only possible to buy the standard Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S22 Ultra. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on this? Comment below. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.